Hi, my name is Bob D'Ambrosio from Kendall Products. We're the Canadian distributor for Broster Company. And I wanted to go over the Broster VF3 Ventless Fryer today. It's a three pound countertop fully enclosed auto lift fryer with a suppression system built in, a carbon filter, and I would like to go over some of the features so you can see how it's taken apart, maintained, and how it keeps your staff safe. So first, I will uh, open up the front door, swing it out of the way for now, and that reveals our cooking basket. This comes out just like this. Once it's dirty, it can be washed in the dish pit or in any commercial dishwasher. The carriage that holds it is hooked on by a pin. Again, comes out, it can go into the dish area. Our next step is to remove the cooking element. And we use the arm on the left side to just lift it out of the cooking oil. And then we can pull out our empty cold cooking well. It's a stainless pot. That can also be washed in the dish pit or dish area. And finally, in order to keep the inside of the basin clean, we've engineered a cup that goes inside. It sits down like that, and it just comes out. This is uh, solid stainless steel. It can be cleaned like anything else in your kitchen, and it's super durable, it won't corrode anything over time. Our last step is to remove the door. If it gets excessively dirty, or if you just want it out of the way, we don't need any tools or fasteners to take it off. It just lifts up and goes right out of the way. And we'll put it back together just to show how easy it is. Door goes on. Put in our little stainless basin. Slides in the machine like that. Next, we put in our cooking well. At this point, if we were beginning our day, we would put a fresh batch of cooking oil in. Once it's got the oil in it, we can bring the whole pot inside the machine. It just slides in. It has a little bit, a little tray here, so you can see it doesn't go back or forward. There's only one place to put it. We lower the element down into the oil. It goes into the well. Then we put on our carriage. Hooks on the pin. And finally, our basket that the food would go in just slides in right on top of the carriage and we can close our door fire up the machine we're ready for operation okay now we're ready to cook on the broster vf3 countertop ventless fryer we're going to start by selecting our preset cook time and temp built in we have a color menu with all of our menu items uh, including a photo we're going to do some uh, jumbo popcorn chicken once that's set it'll show us that our Oil temperature is over our set point at 360, so it's green, meaning we're okay to cook. The cook time automatically sets to four minutes, 15 seconds, and it keeps a photo of the food visible, showing it's a frozen chicken product, uh, just to confirm that we're cooking the right thing at the right time. So we'll start by re removing our basket. Nice to have just a little pan here to put it down on. And then we can open our bag of frozen goods, load the basket with that. We open the access door, slide this in, place it right on the carriage on top of the oil. Once I close the door, we just press start. And I'll give you a preview. It just lowers the basket into the oil and starts cooking. All right, our cook cycle's done. We're down to the last couple seconds of our cook cycle. We can hear the basket being pulled out of the oil before it beeps. That's so that it has a chance to drip off, and then it'll beep at us to let us know it's safe to pull the basket out. So we press stop. Go in, we can grab our handle without any protective gear whatsoever. It's not hot. We have a fresh batch of popcorn chicken. We can dump that out. put it out to serve and because the element is so large on the ventless fryer we can reload it right away with fresh product down I will select a new preset frozen jumbo corn dog it's a 14 minute cook take our basket with frozen jumbo corn dogs open the access door sit it right onto the carousel there 
close the door, press start. It's lowering it into the oil again. It'll do the cook and let us know when it's done. Now we're going to show how easy it is to change the air filter or to replace an air filter to let it dry in the VF3. Open our service door. It can stay on and just swing out of the way. We undo this one buckle, unhook it, and this just slides down and comes straight out from the machine. This is the tray that holds the air filter and we can put it down on the table and we can just flip it out of the machine just like this. If there's still carbon moving in it, we know it's still a good filter and we can reuse it once it's dried out after a long cooking day. So I'll replace that. Approach like this. Push it in. Close our buckle and we've replaced the air filter just like that.